In this video, we will be attempting to climb two mountains in two days. After struggling with you all to the summit of the highest mountain in the Philippines, Mount Apo, I wanted us to tackle an even bigger challenge. D2M stands for Mount Dulang Dulang and Mount Maagnao. The summit of these two mountains is our goal, but there is also a much deeper reason why this adventure means so much to me. This reason will be revealed during the journey. A huge amount of effort was taken to film and climb these mountains, as well as edit and produce the experience you're watching right now. The land you will be enjoying during this hike is considered sacred by the indigenous peoples living here. It is tradition that if we are to enter these sacred lands, we will witness and be a part of a sacrificial ritual led by the Datu or chief of the area. Let's begin this journey in the house of the Datu where we will be sacrificing a chicken and performing the ritual to ensure the safety of all climbers attempting to climb Mount Dulang Dulang and Mount Maagnao. The keepers of wisdom of this area view the mountains here as the first cathedral of humanity. If you wish to enter, you must obey a set of rules, some of which I found peculiar. There is a rule to keep your eyes and ears alert, but never utter a word if you see strange movement as you enter. You cannot speak or utter the words asin or salt and sabon or soap. You cannot mention four-legged animals such as cows, carabaos, or horses. Finally, people who eat dogs are not allowed to enter. After performing the ritual, sacrificing the chicken, receiving the blessing from the Datu, and never having eaten a dog, I am ready to take you all on this journey to summit two mountains. We just started the trail to Mount Dulang Dulang. The mountaineers call it D2. It's gonna be the first mountain that we summit. We're walking through a farmland right now. It's just like Mount where we started in a farmland. I've come to enjoy the mental and physical challenges major hikes offer. These wires that are supposed to be holding up plants, they're making this insane noise. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll try to record the sound. One thing I was always fearful of before taking on hikes like these was not having access to every little thing I needed at all times. Learning to release this anxiousness and trust in myself has been liberating. We've entered the forest and it sounds like there's a fire alarm going on, but these are beetles in the forest making this sound. It's kind of eerie, it's kind of cool though. The sounds of this hike have been pretty interesting so far. Maybe you're like me, where in nature I feel I am best able to reflect on my life. We are 800 meters into the hike. We have 600 meters left. We are going to be camping at the summit tonight. I've been thinking about where I've been taking you guys, what has happened so far on the channel. And it just means a lot to me that all of you guys are watching the videos and supporting so much. I wanna thank you guys for sticking with me through all the long edits and all of the adventures I've been taking you on. My favorite thing so far about the channel has been meeting all the incredible people that I have met. Intense mental and physical efforts like these have taught me the relationship between between effort and reward. The longer you can safely stay in an intense state of effort and be comfortable being uncomfortable when working towards a goal, the more pleasure you can extract from the reward when you finally reach the goal. This was the campsite for those who will only climb Mount Dulang Dulang. In order to reach both summits in two days, we must camp at the summit tonight. Are you having fun yet? Are you? I'm having fun. You are? <laughs> <laughs> I just hope we make it to the summit before sunset. <laughs> We're gonna make it, I promise. Just one more hour. In the beginning of the video, I told you all there was a much deeper reason this adventure means so much to me. It has to do with the mindset it takes to fast. Not fast from food, fast from the most basic of life's comforts. I wanted to go into this hike with a mindset that I was fasting from all of the luxuries in life that we all take for granted every single day. I'm talking about clean clothes. I'm talking about being dry. I'm talking about having a shower. When I'm going on these hikes, I don't have that. I knew after the Mount Apo hike how I felt afterwards. Why did I feel so amazing after that hike? It's because it really changed my perspective on how lucky I am to have a bed how lucky I am to be warm, how lucky I am to be comfortable. <laughs> 
let's get to the summit of Mount Dulang Dulang. At the summit of Mount Dulang Dulang, I couldn't help but feel disappointed that the view was hidden by the clouds. I was worried that the quality of the video would suffer and you, the person watching this video now, wouldn't enjoy this video as much if I didn't get a beautiful shot from the summit. These thoughts stayed in my mind as we left the summit of Mount Dulang Dulang to reach the summit of Mount Maagnao. During this internal struggle, I realized that it fits perfectly with the mindset I came into this hike with. I stayed in a positive state of mind, visualizing how good it would feel to have clear skies at the summit of Mount Maagnao. I took this as an opportunity to train my mind to stay strong and resilient no matter what the circumstances are, but also control my expectations. Because if the clouds didn't clear at the second summit, I couldn't let that crush my happiness. I fully accepted that whether I get a good view or not at the second summit, I will make the D2M video the absolute best that it can be for you to enjoy. Then, as the sun rose at 5am on the third day of the hike at the summit of Mount Maagnao, it was as if my prayers were answered. The clouds cleared and revealed a stunning view of Mount Dulang Dulang from the summit of Mount Maagnao. My hope is that you can apply something you've learned or observed in this video in your own life. Fasting from life's basic comforts and reaching our goal of summiting Mount Dulang Dulang and Mount Maagnao in two days culminated in the surprising and intensely satisfying reward of a beautiful clearing at the end of this physically and mentally demanding adventure.